Is it Shanghai? Uh, I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, yeah. I feel a little racist not knowing it, but it for a Marvel movie, I don't think it met the high standards of a Marvel movie. I mean, these are this is a movie in Phase Four, and Phase Four is not that great compared to the other phases. Uh, it was okay, but it definitely wasn't great in my personal opinion. The reason I ask is because it's saying that uh, Shang. Shanghai, uh, let's just say the, the Marvel movie that we're talking about, is actually not going to bring back its, uh, its biggest star. Who would you think is the biggest star from that movie? I don't know. Uh, you, really would don't think, know. you would think the main character, right? The main the, character, the, right. The Bruce Lee guy, but mm -hmm. I thought that too until I opened it. It's actually, uh, you know, Michelle. You know, she just won the, an award. She was, uh, you know, just did that uh, movie uh, Everywhere All at Once, I think it's called. It's yeah. on Showtime now. I haven't seen it yet. I heard it's really good. I, I need to find time to watch it. But she's not going to be coming back. It says that Marvel doesn't see that they're going to be able to pay her to bring, you know, pay her enough to bring her back. But yet they can pay Robert Downey $50 million. So, I mean, how much is she asking? So, did you watch the movie? Yes. Um, real quick. I, I liked it. I thought it was it was different. Um, the comedy relief was good. I think his character was cool. Storyline was, you know, uh, I feel like I saw that movie before. But, you know, for a Marvel movie, for me going in, getting entertained, I was entertained, something different. Um, a lot of major stars weren't in there, but I kind of like that. You know, I'm, I'm kind of tired of every Avenger in there saving the world. I, I needed to see something different. I think that did it for me as far as that movie. And I'm looking forward to the second one. But I'll be honest, Michelle was awesome in that movie. I thought she was really cool. Is and she, she the aunt? She's the aunt. Okay, it's all coming to me. It's okay. all coming to you. Yeah, she had a great, she was great in it. And, and for her not to be in the second one, I kind of feel like down. Like, really, you can't afford her? Like, but you can afford everyone else? Are you sure it's nothing to do with affording her or just her schedule? It just says pay right now. I'm sure, I mean, this is breaking news. I don't have time to read the whole thing. But, I mean, she only made... Four and a half million. Even if you gave her double that nine, I'm guarantee you she probably would take it. You know, she yeah. seems like a super cool chick. She was actually in the reboot for Star Trek. No, okay. not a reboot. Uh, Paramount Network has a, a Star Trek show. Mm -hmm. uh, is it prequel? I can't remember. I, I vividly saw like an episode or two of it, and I thought it was pretty cool. And she was like the main like captain. And I guess she dies or something. I don't know. Spoiler alert. Sorry. But, you know, she was in it. Um, she's done a lot of other, you know, like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, stuff like that. She's a very talented actress. But to not bring her back, I hate when they do that. When they, they, when they don't bring back someone that was in the first movie back to the second. I mean, she's the aunt. She paid a, a pivotal role of showing them, she, you know, the, the the dude who he was or who he is, right? Oh, you know what? I'm looking at the IMBD of her right now. She was in, the last thing she did was The Witcher Blood Origin and that tanked. Oh, it tanked bad, yes. Okay. I heard it tanked bad. I I think I tried to watch it and I was like, this is not good. What was the problem with it? Was it acting? Was it story? Special effects? I think it was, for me, I, I only saw the first episode and the first episode didn't really have her too much in it. it had of the other actors i just don't know the other actors right and it's not like for me they're at from just for me they, it wasn't up to par if if you don't get my attention that first episode why would i watch the rest of it unless it's a show that someone says oh like breaking bad you know like i first couple episodes of breaking bad i was like this show is slow but everyone's like no no it gets better and then you realize Breaking Bad got better because it got more money, it got more popular, and season two was way better than season one. But this Blood Witcher, I saw the first episode, and I was like, this is not getting my attention whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever. So I just stopped watching it, and I have no regard, no, I have no interest in watching another episode of that. So Shang-Chi, that movie, Marvel, right? It's having a sequel. Am I hearing that correct? Yeah, it's 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 a go. It's a, it's already it's it's a go. They already said it's going. It's moving forward. They have a release date. Is it just a uh, next year? Uh, I'm sure it's twenty four, twenty five. It, it's nothing. It, there's a Marvel movie coming out soon. That's not getting. I believe for a Marvel movie, not getting enough hype. I think it's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. 
I think that comes out in May. That's, ooh. Like, that's too soon, right? Like, there's not mm-hmm. been enough trailers. There's not been enough hype. Like, do they want it to fail? Well, I got to admit, I'm a little fatigued on Marvel right now. It's just there's so much to catch up, and I feel a little behind. Especially uh, with the shows on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, there's shows you have to catch up. So that's a lot of commitment. You have to watch a long series of shows, not just a movie anymore. Yeah, you have but to watch there's, a series of shows now. There's people that have that commitment, man. There's people that watch every show. I mean, it's once a week, and they're like biting at the – they just can't wait to the next episode. I work with people that – you know, same thing with Star Wars, right? Star Wars, you know, some people say it has too many shows. I don't think it has enough shows, you know, or enough movies, you know, and that whole universe can be, is, is almost the same as Marvel. Marvel can go into different storylines. I mean, I'm excited for the new Daredevil reboot. I don't know about you, but I thought that acting was awesome. Plus, it's bringing my favorite character, the Punisher. And the actor that played the Punisher, fantastic. I thought he was ridiculous. At first, I was like, ah, is he going to be any good? He killed it. He knocked it out of its park. It was violent. It was it was vicious. It was it was great. It's all, everything Punisher is supposed to be better than the Punisher movie. So for for me, that Punisher show on Disney Plus was awesome. And I, and you're right. Maybe there's too much commitment because there's too many different stories in Marvel. You know, mm-hmm. you go from Scarlet Witch to you know the Punisher to this to that to Ant Man. I mean, there's there's just a lot of different storylines, but it makes money, you know, people watch it. There's a lot of people at work that I work at, you know, especially when I used to work at the call centers, like at, when I was at, uh, you know, Lone Depot or I was at uh, Wells Fargo, everyone was like, oh, this show's coming out, blah, blah. I still have friends that hit me up. Hey, did you watch this show? I'm like, yeah, I don't have time. But, you know, I heard it's good. But there's a lot of people that have that commitment and, you know, good for them, you know. Why not? You only live once. Watch what you want. So we're talking about John Brenthal, right? The actor? Yes, awesome actor he's fantastic yeah i i bought into him as the punisher he was that good no he's great he's great do you know what I, I, now that you bring him up you need to watch the interview he had with shyla with Sh- uh shyla both whatever shyla both yeah shyla Shia both oh my gosh i'm sorry for butchering your name man i know big yeah. time big fan of yours transformers was awesome when you left mm-hmm. it went downhill plain and simple but shyla <coughs> pardon me is a tremendous, tremendous actor. He's done a lot of other movies, like those war movies with Brad Pitt. He was awesome in that. He, Fury. Fury's fantastic. Yeah. His acting was fantastic. That's another movie that, that that's with how John they met. Yeah. In it too. Yep. So that interview John has with him on his podcast, you know, he was mad at him for, you know, all the stuff he was doing. But when you find out how messed up he really was and, and you know, Hollywood fame, everything got to his head and he just was out of control. And there wasn't anyone there to help him, right? So Shyla didn't have an inner circle. They're like, hey, man, let me take you under my wing. You know, what you're doing is wrong. He didn't have that. Watch that interview, dude. It's like I have so much respect for him after watching that interview. At first, I was the same way, just like everyone else. Ah, who cares? Famous actor. He has money, blah, blah. But when you watch him, dude, he's a very sincere guy. And I think he's a great, great actor. And I'm a big fan of his. So I hope he gets more roles. I, I think Hollywood needs him. We need to see him in more, you know, more movies. He's a child star, right? So he's Yes, he did holes, right? I don't know. My kids are reading that at school right now. So I think I think he's uh I I just signed a pair of permission slip for my daughter to watch holes. What is holes? It's, I think it's a Disney movie. Um I can't remember. Like these kids go they get punished in juvenile hall and they make them you know, wherever they're at, they make them dig holes. They're like looking for something. Okay. So Shia LaBeouf, right? I'm looking at his IMBD right now, and he's been around for quite a bit. Oh, he did. Uh, go down his latest movies. There's one movie that he did that was really good. I'm trying to think in the back of my mind. It's like, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, it's kind of like a spy movie. It's right around the same time he did Transformers. So the last movie or TV show, Padre Pio, then Rains Ford, Love Me Like You Hate Me, Fast Times at uh, Ridgemont High Table Read. Pieces of a Woman. The Tax Collector. That's the one where you played as a oh, cholo. Oh, that was a great movie. That was a great movie. And I heard he got the tattoos were real. What? Tattoos are real? Those, all those, he went and got a ton of tattoos for that. Those movies that he has in that Tax Collector, they're real. Those are his. But yeah, that's, that's one he did. But yeah, Fury's another great movie he did. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. So he, 
I want to stick on Tax Lawless. Collector. Lawless. Wait, real quick. Tax Collector. That was the movie where he played a, a cholo. Yes. And he got, a, what was it? Cultural appropriated or whatever you call it. Yeah, people people got mad in Hollywood. He's an actor, okay? He acts. So just because you are of one race doesn't mean you have to exclusively Correct. only act in that race. If you're good, you're good. That's my personal opinion. Me, us as Latinos, like I thought he was fine. Oh, I thought he, he's great. He's great. He did great. I mean, it's believable. Mm -hmm. The thing is, like, oh, he's playing a Latino Mexican and he looks too white. No, there's a lot of white looking Mexicans. Oh yeah. Look at Canelo. I, we... You see Canelo, you think, oh, that's an Irish boxer or whatever. No, dude, Canelo looks white. Oh yeah, he's ginger. Yeah. He's ginger. It'd be like us getting mad at Al Pacino for playing Scarface for being a Cuban, for acting as a Cuban. Yeah, rather. he's not Cuban. He's, he's Italian. What? That just ruined it for me. Just kidding. <laughs> I know he's Italian. Hey, <laughs> Eagle Eye was the movie, 2008, that uh, Shyla did. He, he was awesome in that. That's, a, that's oh, definitely that's a movie dumber. you need to see. He also did Disturbia. I remember that. He did Constantine. He was the kid in Constantine with, uh, with our boy Keanu. He was an iRobot. I remember that. He was a kid. Dude. Charlie's Angels. Yeah, he did all these movies when he was a kid. So yeah, he was a child actor. And he was an episode of Freaks and Geeks with all those other famous actors. Since 1998, right? So he's been in this game for what, 25 years? Ah, uh, it's, it's, you're hitting me with the math, but yes, 25 years. Yeah, so he's been acting since he was a kid, 25, messed up right now in the head because a lot of actors are like that. I mean, there's countless kid actors that are screwed mm -hmm. up in the head. But yeah, that's that's a that's a great movie um, that he did. Thanks for watching our clip. If you want to see more clips like this and you like our views, like the show, click here for some more clips. If you want to hear the whole podcast, watch the whole podcast, click here for the whole podcast. Remember, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll get back to you. Thank you, and have a great day.